Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack, and happy Saturday! Yep, <laughs> it's Saturday, alright? Saturday is not only everybody's favorite day because they get to see my suffering through the form of a YouTube video because of your guys' voting poll, but it's because you get another top 5 or top 10 episode based on your guys' voting poll on my Instagram now. <laughs> but last time around, you guys voted for the top 10 best sprays versus the top 10 best gun skins in Overwatch. And at this point, I pretty much lost all hope that the top 10 best sprays is gonna win. You know, see Season 3 of the top 5 series is almost over, and I did want to go into Season 4 where I do kind of like a reboot series of my very old top 5 videos, so might as well just keep the meme going. I mean, I'm not going to have any hope, so if you don't want to vote for the top 10 best sprays, that's fine by me, because just like my love life, I've given up on it. So if you want to contribute to the meme and thinking that you're actually doing something to my sanity, you can go to my Instagram, and there will be a story where it will only be available for 24 hours where you can vote for next week's top 5 or top 10 episode, but this time, I really wanted to focus on the gun skins that we've seen for some of our favorite skins in Overwatch. Well, the skins itself for some of our favorite heroes are the reasons why we fall in love with the skin or possibly even the hero. It's really the gun for that skin that we're going to be looking at the whole entire time while playing with our hero. So it's kind of funny that the guns kind of go unnoticed or at least untalked about, but not anymore because today I want to look at the best event gun skins in Overwatch. Next week, I probably will be doing the non-event gun skins in Overwatch because there are just so many good gun skins in the game that I really want to separate out the two. But for today, let's look at some of the gun skins that came with some of our favorite events and decide what are the best of the best. Finally getting into the list, in my personal opinion, what makes a great gun skin make it on this list, but also the placing on this list is how well it's designed, how good it's paired up with the main skin, the uniqueness of it, and at the number 10 spot, this is what embodies all three of those things because, <laughs> because this is gonna be the Nutcracker Zenyatta with his nut orbs. Whether you're nine years old or 39 years old, you're gonna have a massive hard on for this gun skin. And I think you know what category I fit in. <laughs> the Nutcrackers for Nutcracker Zenyatta is such a simple design, but such a well-made idea for a classic and nostalgic skin. Every single time I see Nutcracker Zenyatta, it just takes me back to my very first Overwatch event, which was the Winter Wonderland event when I was caught between Yeti Winston and Snowman May and Nutcracker Zenyatta, and I really wanted this skin all because of the orbs, but I was too broke like I am now, but at least I'm a little bit more financially stable in Overwatch. But the point is though, this is a great skin, I think in due to part because of the nuts. I really do feel like the nuts laid out the foundation for not only future Zenyatta skins where it'd get baseballs or Cthulhu eyes or even squids, but also let people have a bigger appreciation for other gun skins because of the unique design for their respective skins. It was an overall perfectly executed skin. Well, I would never imagine Zenyatta being a nutcracker it just works and is one of my all-time favorite skins. But coming in next at the number nine spot is a hero that has highly underrated skins, which in turn means they have highly underrated gun skins, and it's gonna be for our favorite grandma sniper in the game which is also the only grandma sniper in game, but it helps that the character is so likable. <laughs> this is gonna be Ana's Pharaoh Serpent Sniper. Well, I don't wanna focus too much on the skins themselves. This is a nice addition to what the skin is supposed to portray, which is an undead Egyptian mummy. And you definitely see that throughout the gun because you see the mummy wrapping throughout the entire barrel, but then you see a few serpents, snakes, and other accessories that make up the rest of the sniper. Like little tiny details that you see throughout this sniper is what really draws me to the skin. And not only that, it goes perfectly with the character Anna because she is Egyptian. And oftentimes in Egyptian culture, or maybe just in the movies, you often see serpents, snakes, and mummies. Yeah, it is just the movies. I feel like that is very uh, cliche. But even if it is a tiny bit cliche, something that is aiming to represent the culture that Anna is from is well designed and not only a skin, but especially the gun itself. And Anna has a lot of great skins like Snow Owl, Owl and Corsair, but I went with Pharaoh specifically because of how many levels it hits when it comes to a skin for Ana. But coming in at the number eight spot is probably one of the most unique skins of all time because we don't have a lot of animated gun skins. Like really, I can only think of three and that is Demon for Orisa, Face Changer for Sombra, or at the number eight spot, Dragon for Symmetra. 
God, that eye is so creepy. And especially when you have a gold version of that gun, it's even creepier, bro. I think that's a big reason as to why a lot of people don't like this skin, which is totally validated because it is so eerie and different, weird, creepy, but those are all characteristics of Halloween. And be it that this is a Halloween exclusive gun, I think if you're gonna go all out with that kind of theme, this is what you would want to do. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have your group of people that just do not like it because they like the cute aspects of Halloween or they like the cute witch mercy skins of the Halloween events but like I said if you go all out you're gonna have a lot of people that have a much higher appreciation because not only did you make a hero like Symmetra that you would never ever ever imagine be a dragon have such a different kind of silhouette but you also went all out with the gun too that's why I like this skin. Yeah, Symmetra Dragon, it looks cool, but the gun is the main show for it because you have that eye right on the side, always looking at you, just gazing into your soul, wondering why. Why are you playing Symmetra at this time? We need a gadget! Like, you can just tell they spent a little bit of extra time on the skin. Obviously, with the dragon eye, but also the scales and the design. Like, somehow, the gun looks like a miniature dragon for Symmetra. It's so cool, man. Next up at number seven is kind of on the same level in Nutcracker Zenyatta, where the name not only inspired the skin, but the skin also inspired the gun itself. L let me just explain. This is gonna be belonging to Gargoyle Wind. Instant. Now this might sound a little bit weird and you might ask why is it at the number seven spot? But the only reason why I'm not falling in love with Gargoyle Winston's gun is that it doesn't really look like a gun <laughs> You know, it kind of looks like Winston is carrying around a Lego building set in his hand That's not to say that the gun looks trash. No far from it I love the design of his Tesla cannon and how well put together it is to match the gargoyle skin itself Because in case you guys don't know gargoyles are supposed to guard I think like mansions or or, or big buildings, which is what his gun is. It's a building that Winston would typically guard. It's just really overwhelming to see Winston have that big of a gun, but I think that's one of the appeals to it. Like, I don't really know how to describe my feelings towards it. Like, I love the design. I, I love the idea. It's a well put together thought. It just literally looks like Winston pulled out a building and is now shooting electricity out of it. <laughs> but moving on to the number six spot, while we just had a dragon skin at the number eight spot, it seems like Blizzard really, really likes their dragons, and who can blame them when they make stuff like the well, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of this Ferris skin. It's her dragon skin. I've only slightly touched on the gold variations of a lot of these gun skins, but I think this is probably one of the best looking ones because it's not in all gold. That's one of the main reasons why I don't like Soldier 76's assault rifle golden is because it's too overwhelming with the gold. Whereas here with the Ferris dragon gun, they got the important parts in gold to really emphasize the design focus, which is around a dragon. Like you see the obvious dragon head, at the tip of the barrel, but then you see other various dragon details that pair perfectly with the whole entire aesthetic, like the dragon tail at the back end of it, or the dragon claws that are holding the rockets, and then the clouds to show that the dragon is flying above the clouds. Like, that's why I really like it. Where Symmetra Dragon, it looks cool because of the animated eye. I feel like this one is a little bit more tasteful and more people can get around it. And that gold gun, man, oh, it's so beautiful. But now coming in at the number five spot is what I think is the most highly underrated Mercy skin in the game. People are always talking about Pink Mercy. People are always role-playing with Dr. Mercy or a classic skin like Witch Mercy is always in the mouth of so many egos. But what about Winged Victory? Look at that staff. Look at the torch-inspired staff given to the ancient goddess herself. This is why I like this skin because you have to remember that this is for the Summer Games event and the Summer Games event is inspired from the Olympics and what starts the Olympics Olympics is the classic torch running and Mercy here has the torch to start the summer games or the Olympic games And that's why I like this staff this gun specifically Yeah, the other Mercy staffs are pretty like pink Mercy has that pink ribbon shown throughout it And then all-star Mercy has that purple stone at the tip of it But this one this one is just different and this is also another animated skin So I kind of forgot about this one And I think that is another reason why I like it because you have that burning flame at the end of it but it it also has design elements seen throughout the Mercy skin as well. You got the main colors white and gold, and then you have the leaves at the tip of it, just like Mercy's leaf crown. Like, I almost went with the classic witch's broom for witch Mercy, but when you look at it, it's kind of 
boring. But yeah, there is some nostalgia to it, but if you really want a nostalgic classic, but even way better gun, then let's take a look at number four. Even though Junkenstein was the face of the original Halloween event, it really should belong to Pumpkin Reaper because he got the best skin from that first Halloween event. On top of that, some of the best shotguns you will ever see in your whole entire life. Remember what I said about Gorgo Winston and how it doesn't really look like a gun and they tried it too hard to make the gun match with the skin itself. They did the same thing here, but at least here with Pumpkin Reaper, the shotgun look that is notorious to Reaper didn't go away and just got better. Like with the pumpkin aesthetics that match perfectly with the skin itself makes me fall in love with it every single time I see it. The candles is a nice little addition with the pumpkin face on the side that doesn't draw away from the fact that this is a shotgun. On top of that, while the gold is a little bit overwhelming, I'm glad they didn't make the orange candle and the orange pumpkin or the orange lights gold as well. The orange lights kind of get drowned out with that gold look, but either way, while this gun skin is supposed to be menacing, it has a surprisingly beautiful aesthetic to it, if you're into pumpkins or death. But if we're talking about death, then let's talk about another Halloween skin. God, the Halloween event just has so many hits, no misses. At the number three spot, this is gonna be a hero that has some notoriously bad skins, but this one probably is one of his best ones. Slasher 76. Oh my god, chainsaw with an assault rifle? What is this Gears of War with the Lancer? Every single time I talk about this skin, I always gotta bring up the Lancer, but I, I like that. I like that they added a chainsaw to his assault rifle. Slasher 76 is inspired from various slasher movies, most notably Friday the 13th, where the main character is, of course, Jason, and he uses various weapons to kill his camp counselors or kill his victims. I don't really remember him using a chainsaw. I really only saw the first couple of ones, but it's still a nice addition to what Slasher 76 is supposed to be, which is supposed to be a mix of a killer, but also an army man. And that is perfectly shown here with his assault rifle, but also it being a chainsaw. And I think that's what draws me to it is because it doesn't take away from the soldier aesthetic, but it doesn't take away from the slasher aesthetic. It's such a nice mix and a nice balance of what the two themes are supposed to be. But even though that gun skin is cool, it can't beat a classic e-girl drink. Whenever an e-girl says they know a spot, they just take you to a boba tea restaurant. <laughs> And the number two spot, this is the boba tea gun belonging to Honeydew May. Honeydew May, as you guys know, is my favorite skin of the game for many different reasons. I cosplayed as her, it's just one of the best looking skins in the game, but also the gun itself adds to that Honeydew Boba Tea aesthetic. Because you really gotta think, they could have just given May a normal looking gun and this skin would have been great, but they really needed to emphasize that she is a waitress at a Boba Tea restaurant, so how could they do that? Well, they could make maybe Snowball have some Boba Tea within the head, or maybe the backpack could carry it, but no, they went the extra step of implementing the Boba T as the ammo, but also still mixing in the classic May gun aesthetic. And I think that's really important when designing a gun skin because yeah, just like Gargoyle Winston, you can design a building around it and it would make sense, but does it still look like a Winston Tesla cannon? No, here, if you were just to separate the May gun skin from the skin itself and you don't remember the skin, then you would be able to tell that this is a May gun. Like the details does its job, they're details. They're not the main focal point. They're not something that you see right away. But if you really pay attention to it, oh my god, do you fall in love with it. The various bubble tea balls that you see whenever you finish the drink, the straw, but every single time you reload, you hear a little... <laughs> a little slurp effect as if you're getting reloaded with more boba tea from your e-girl that is just gonna leave you. Let's move on to number one before I cry. Now claiming the number one best gun skin in Overwatch, if I were just to show you, I think you'd understand. So I will. Yep, yep, King Jameson Junkrat's gun. How can you not love an iced out skin? <laughs> He's got a bust down grenade launcher. He iced out the side of it, the handle of it, the tip of it. He's got pearls where his crosshair is at. He's got a big jewel to reload. His iced out grenades. This man made it. He is rich and his gun shows it. Homie either got a lick or joined a pyramid scheme to be able to flex on all of us broke boys in Overwatch. And boy, did he flex on us. He said, peep the 
drip, peep the drip, and peep the drip with his outfit, his gun, and also his iced out C4. He's exploding diamonds, but he doesn't care. Why? Because he's rich. That's why I like this whole entire look. This is why I like this gun, because it's what Junkrat is all about. From rags to riches to diamonds and pearls, my mans had finally done it and proved everybody wrong. This is the type of diamond weapon that I want to see in the future for competitive weapons because if Junkrat can get it, everybody should be able to bask in the glory. But until then, Junkrat is going to remain king, or should I say, King Jameson. Oh my god, what a way to end the video. Guys, please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite event gun skin is, and I'll probably see you next week on Saturday, and I promise Saturday. If I don't do it Saturday, then I owe you guys some toe pictures. I'm really gonna have to give you guys a top five or top 10 video Saturday. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.